In this part 3 video of assembly via Arduino, the I.O. ports of the 80 Mega 328 microcontroller are programmed as digital ports to handle 8-bit data. The 80 Mega 328 microcontroller has three 8-bit ports, ports B, C, and D. The position of the ports on the Arduino Uno is shown here. Port B is located between pins, digital pins D8 and D13. Port C is between analog pins A0 to A5. For port B and C, we only have access to six pins of the port. And port D is located between digital pins D0 and D7, and we do have access to all of the eight pins. Each port has three I.O. registers data direction register, port register, and port input pins register. The data direction register determines whether the port is an input or output port. If we want to program the port as an output port, then we send the byte FF to this register. If we want to program it as an input port, then we send the byte 0. So here in this assembly example, we are programming the port as an output port by sending the byte FF uh, to the data direction register of port D using the out uh, instruction. Once we have determined the data direction of the port, the next step is to either output uh, a byte from the microcontroller onto the pins of the port using the port register or to input a byte from the pins into the microcontroller using the port input pins register. In addition to inputting and outputting ones and zeros, each port has other functions. For example, port D has interrupts and serial communications, port C has analog inputs, and so on. These other functionalities will be discussed in future videos. In this first example, we have eight LEDs connected to port D of the Arduino, and we want to toggle the LEDs with some time delay. And this is the assembly code that will be used to implement the example. Now, before we can uh, upload the sketch onto the Arduino, we need to remove the LEDs from pins D0 and D1, since these two pins are the transmit and receive for serial communication and they are used during the loading of the sketch onto the Arduino. After the uh, loading is completed, we can then connect these two LEDs and see the result on the port. A quick look at the assembly code. We need to load into register R20 the, uh, the byte value FF in order to set port D as output port. Then we use the out instruction to send the byte to register data direction of port D and then we store in register R20 the byte pattern 01010101 and then we output this pattern to register port D and then we call the subroutine my delay and then we load into register R20 the pattern AA which is 10101010 and then we output this pattern to port D and then we call the delay and then we repeat the process indefinitely. Subroutine my delay uses a three level nested loop to obtain the required delay. Register R20, which is the outer loop counter, has initial value of 255. Register R21, which is the mid loop counter, has initial value of 255. And register R22, which is the inner loop counter, will have a initial value of 41 to give us a 0.5 second delay. In the next slide, I will demonstrate how we arrived at this value to give us the required delay. Next, we decrement the inner loop counter by 1 and we check the value. If non zero, then we continue with the loop. We exit the loop when the counter value is zero. Next, we decrement the mid-loop counter by 1 and we check the value. If non-zero, we continue with the loop 
and we exit the loop when the value is 0. Then we decrement the outer loop by 1 and we check the value if non zero. We continue with the loop and we exit the loop until the value of the outer loop counter is 0. And then we return to the calling routine. In this slide we see how we calculate the time delay for the nested loop and how we arrived at this value 41 for the inner loop assuming that the outer and the middle loop have initial values of 255. So to calculate the delay in seconds we multiply the outer loop count by the mid loop count, multiply by the inner loop count which we want to determine, multiplied by the number of machine cycles uh, within the inner loop and if we look here this is the inner loop now this decrement uh, takes one cycle while the branch not equal takes two cycles so we have three cycles here so multiply by three multiply by the reciprocal of the crystal clock frequency which is 16 megahertz next we determine the count value for the inner loop through this uh, computation and the value is 41 which gives us a 0.5 second delay the maximum time delay we can obtain is 3.11 seconds when we choose the initial count value of the inner loop 255. In this next example we want to input a byte from port C and then output the byte to port D. This is port C on the Arduino Uno. As mentioned earlier we only have access to six pins of this port so we can X6 push buttons to this port and for port D we have access to all of the eight pins so eight LEDs are connected to port D. In the first part of the assembly code we are initializing the ports. First we send 0 to the data direction register of port C to set port C as input and then we send the byte FF to the data direction register of port D so that we set port D as output. In this part of the code, we input the byte from port C, which is in pin C, and copy it into R20 using the in instruction. And then using the out instruction, we send the byte to register port D to be displayed on the 8 LEDs. Note that function start, located in the S file of the Arduino IDE, is called once by the setup function inside the INO file while function IO byte is called repeatedly within the loop function of the INO file. Sometimes when we want to program the IO ports of the Arduino we want to access only a few bits of the port instead of the entire 8 bits and we can do this by using single bit assembly instructions. We have set bit in IO register and clear bit in IO register. For set bit in IO register, this example will set pin 5 of port B, and here we are clearing pin 3 of port C. These two instructions give us conditional skips or jumps. This instruction is skip if bit in IO register is set, and this instruction is skip if bit in IO register is cleared. In this example here, we are inputting the bit in uh, pin 2 or port D into the pin register and we check the value. If it is zero or cleared then this instruction, the next instruction will be skipped. Otherwise the next instruction will be executed. In this example we have eight LEDs connected to port D which is initialized as an output port and we are setting the pins of the port one by one starting from the least significant bit and introducing a delay between each set and at the end we clear all the bits and the process is repeated indefinitely. A quick look at the assembly code. We initialize port D as output port. We store in register R18 value of 0 which will be used to reset the port. Using instruction SBI we will set pin PD0 and then call function myDelay to apply a delay of 0.25 seconds. And then we set pin PD1, apply delay, and we continue with this 
until we reach uh, pin PD7, apply delay, and then using the out instruction we will clear port D, apply delay, and then jump to label again and repeat the process indefinitely. In this demonstration we have a push button connected to pin PC0 of port C and 8 LEDs connected to port D. When the button is pressed a byte value is sent to port D and reflected on the LEDs. The value is held at the output for 3 seconds and then cleared. Inside the assembly code we set port D for output and we set to pin PC0 as input. We load into register R18 the hexavalue FC which is the byte that will be sent to port D. We load into register R19 the value of 0 which will be used to clear port D. Using instruction SPIC we will check PC0 if the value is 0, meaning that the button has not been pressed, then this instruction will be skipped and the program will come to this instruction, which is a jump to label again. And the process continues until the button is pressed. When we press the button, the value at pin PC0 will be 1. And this instruction will be executed and the program will jump to label output byte. And at this uh, subroutine, we will output the byte stored in register 18 to port D, and then call function myDelay to apply a delay of approximately 3 seconds. And then we output the content of R19 to port D, which is 0, in order to clear port D. And then we jump to label again, and the process continues waiting for a button press. In my next video, I'll present arithmetic and logic instructions and demonstrate different examples. Thank you for watching.